What's up guys? How you guys doing? So, all right guys, I have a story to tell you this morning, man. Uh anyway, so yeah. So, uh I was looking something in my car, but I could not be able to find it, man. So, I was like, "What?" Uh because uh I bought a vehicle, you know. And uh the DMV actually sent me back the the paperwork. And they wanted to uh, see that the person who actually sold me a vehicle uh, can sign it a place that actually they forgot to sign it on the title. So, so okay. Uh, so I went to uh, I went to DMV this morning, and the, and the DMV said that okay, uh, this person actually sold you a vehicle. Uh, she or he need to sign it over here. So call them, uh, go over there, whatever, if you know where they live, and they can sign it and bring the title back, and you're good to go, okay? And I said, okay. So I was like, ah, I do have their phone number somewhere. I mean, let me look their phone number in my vehicle. So I was looking my phone number. I, I, I'm not, I, I, I was looking their phone numbers, I could not be able to find it. So I, like, okay, I said, like, well, let me go to their home where they live. So I punched the address and my GPS and they went there, but, but I, could not, I could not be able to find the house. <laughs> so like, okay, uh, never mind. So so I turned around. I turned around. So went back home, all right? So so I, I hit the freeway, okay? So and I said, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. So. Uh, I pull over my vehicle uh, uh, on the side of the road, um, on the freeway, and I say, okay, uh, let me, before, before I drive further, before I go further, let me find this, uh, their phone numbers. I mean, I'm talking about the people who actually sold me the vehicle. I say, okay, let me just uh, pull over my vehicle on, on the freeway so that I can find, uh, uh, look for their phone number so that I can call them instead of going all the way home and maybe the phone number is right here. I uh, just I can't find it, and call them, and then turn around, and go to them, so that they can sign it, so they can take the paper back, papers back to DMV. So like, okay, so, so while I was stop, while I was there, okay, I stopped all right on the side of the road, uh, on the freeway. So, so I was like. Uh, Okay, checking my papers and looking for their phone numbers, man. I could not, I could not be able to find it. So like, oh, where's, where's their phone numbers? Because I don't want to drive all the way home, and all of a sudden, oh, look at this now. And it was like 15 miles away from my place to their home. I'm like, oh, look at this. I have their phone number. Sometimes you uh, here in America, you can't just show up, you know, uh, to their people's house. You know, you have to call them first. And then say, okay, we are home or we are not home. Uh, so that you can, okay, come this time so we can sign it. And okay, no, no worries. Okay, you cannot just show up and just say, hey, I need, I need you guys to do this, no, blah, blah, blah. Because you never know if they are home or not. Or maybe they are busy. So anyway, so on my way back home, on my way back to my place, as I said, I pulled my vehicle uh Aside, uh, aside uh, on the side of the road, on the side of the freeway. So I stopped there. So I pushed the emergency blinkers, bling, bling, bling. I mean, some some people they call them uh, hazards, uh, my hazard, bling, bling, bling. Okay. So uh, I'm right there, man, busy looking. Okay, uh, cruising my papers, man, throw the papers away, man, looking their phone numbers because I don't wanna, you know go back there again and then because I'm really close to the house where they live so but I, I need to I'm looking for a phone number so that I can call them but I could not be able to locate the locating locate the phone numbers or like oh no and then when I um, uh, so uh, and then uh, I look my uh, side mirrors uh, I saw the corpses <laughs> they just uh, parked behind me <laughs> <laughs> like here we go again here we go again black men slash white cops right here anyways so the cops approaching my vehicle right approaching 
uh, he was coming uh, the other side or passenger passenger side. So, so uh, when the couple the, when the cop was approaching me, uh, uh, I, I, I rolled my windows down, my passenger window down, and my passenger's window down. I rolled down, and then uh, uh, the cops approached me and uh, I said, "How are you, officer?" And he said, "Fine." And he said that uh, uh, I, I, I just come here. I just came here to see if you are. Uh, I just stop. I just stopped by to see if you are. Uh, you broke down, or you, you need help, or something. And I said, "No, I, I, I'm looking for phone numbers. Uh, I just bought this vehicle." So uh, the the person who actually sold me this this vehicle, uh, he or she forgot. To sign it, uh, 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 to sign it, they uh, somewhere there in, in, in the title, on the uh, and the vehicle uh, t uh, uh, on the vehicle title. Okay, so uh, so I'm looking for phone. I'm looking for their phone number so that I can call them, and they say, oh, you know, here it's a freeway. So if you're looking for a phone number, so you have to actually pull somewhere out that it's a safe area so that you can look for the for the phone number like but here it's a freeway so uh, I stopped to see if you have a problem or your, your car is broke down but if you are looking for a phone number just uh, uh, pull over somewhere that it's a safe area because this is a, a freeway you know even though uh, I'm on uh, uh, emergency uh, on uh, on this, uh, on the, uh, on the side of the road, but still, uh, actually, uh, uh, the cop actually advised me to pull somewhere out that uh, you know it's not close to the freeway, so that I can do whatever I was doing. I can do whatever I was doing or whatever I was doing. Okay, so yeah, I said, all right, okay, thank you, officer, and I asked him, you want to see my insurance or whatever, and he said, no, 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 I just. Uh, uh, and, he, he, and he said that okay, good luck, sir. Good luck with with phone numbers. <laughs> like okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And um, so this freeway it was busy, man. It was busy. It's I five sometimes, you know, northern as if you go to northern California, it's it's a very busy highway actually, uh, especially early in the morning. Okay, and he said he said okay, okay, good luck, sir. <laughs> like okay, thank you, officer. All right, so um, so he has he has to he has to block the freeway, okay, the right side lane, so that I can pull my vehicle, I can so that I can pull my vehicle and proceed uh, and and go wherever I was going, you know. So he blocked one of the lane on this on the right lane, so that I can pull my vehicle. So he, he blocked the right lane, and I pulled my vehicle. I pulled my vehicle, and I proceeded. And uh, he passed me like, hey, <laughs> right, it was cool, man. I, I think this cop today, he had a good night. Oh, he had a good morning, man. He was so professional and nice, you know. So I was not freaking out myself because uh, I know how to conduct myself uh, in front of the cops. So if, if, uh, if, if cops stop me, whatever, I know how to conduct myself. You know, I know how to, uh, to answer whatever cops wants me to uh, uh, to answer, you know. So, uh, yeah, so this is a, this is a, actually happened this morning, man. And I was like, uh, here we go again, but I'm, I wasn't freaking out, man. I'm not that person that, oh, why you want to see this? Why you want to see that? No, 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 no. So this is this, 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 this is how exactly I'm teaching my son, man, that whenever you, anywhere, while you are driving or walking, or you are jogging. I'm uh, I'm teaching my son that when the cops actually stop you and ask you questions, okay, and do what do what actually cops ask you to do, okay. If you are driving and cops actually stop you, I'm teaching my son, okay. If cops actually stop you and ask you uh, license. Uh, 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 registration vehicle uh, registration and insurance if you are you are if you if you are 
registration and insurance is in a glove box and your license in your pocket in your wallet you ask the uh, ask the officer officer can i reach the my my insurance and my registration is in my is in my vehicle glo uh, glove box can i reach it and he said yes you can reach it you you retrieve uh, your insurance and your uh, registration vehicle okay and if your license in your wallet in your pants in your pocket pants and you ask officer my license is num is my pocket pants can i reach it uh, he said yes you can you reach your you reach your wallet uh, on your pants in your pocket pants and then you you retrieve you retrieve your wallet you pull up your driver license you show the police officer you show the officer and officer read your names and everything and if, if everything is fine and nothing wrong he's gonna leave you alone he's gonna leave you alone bye bye have a good day sir and and you say oh, you too sir have a good day okay that's it that's how i teach my son man so i wasn't freaking out this morning i said i know exactly what to handle myself when the cops actually approach me i know that person say oh why you ask my d why you ask my that why you ask my this no i'm not i'm not like that man i'm not like that so okay guys so uh, that's my story man this morning so that was a fantastic man as i said that that cop man i think he had a good night last night oh he had a good morning because because it was like 8 45 in the morning when when uh, i pull over on freeway uh, and check my whatever i was looking for but anyways guys please subscribe put your comments and uh, thank you so much guys for those who actually subscribe my channel and uh give me thumbs up man <laughs> this is a man fake diasporas to africa fake diasporas to africa goodbye guys take care